Because it's all taboo and, and people. Well, let me tell you, I have. I 100% tell have. us about it. Doing DMT, uh, I've 100 percent communicated with something. The question is whether that something was actually in my imagination or in my mind, or that something was something that takes place in another dimension. I don't know. I can't be sure. There's no way to put it on a scale. There's no way to throw, sure. run it through a test. But what I do know is that it's the same experience. I can be sure. Okay. I mentioned Eric Muller, who you know, uh, Mankel Muller, because he's the one guy willing to let me tell a story. I've literally talked to, I say 100 people. Mm -hmm. it's, it's probably more than that, because I've known about this for a long time. He is a Christian, but he heard about all this, so he went down to a couple places in Central and South America and did it twice. Both times it was 30 to 40 people in the group. And he's like, well, Alex... I just don't believe in demons, but I did see basically aliens come up to the edge of the forest, and we were all seeing it, and we were all seeing the same thing, but I think it was a chemical reaction. You don't have a – if you – everybody gets drunk, we all think about what happened to us in high school or college or what's good or what's bad. We all have different experiences. When you're taking a hallucinogen and suddenly you're all seeing the same thing, it just means it clicked off the part of your brain as a filter, so you go crazy. Yeah. Because a lot of schizophrenic people just see more. And then they see everything. It doesn't mean they're right. It just means that the filter is off. Well, I've always said, like, you ever run your hand over an insect that can't see? They have no idea you're there. They're like certain insects that just don't see anything, whether it's a centipede or whatever. And how, they, do, how do we know what they see? Well, <laughs> we don't know. You're right. Yeah. We, 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 by dissecting dead ones, we have an understanding of what sensors they possess. Yeah. and We can. We think a, b a bee or a fly sees like in a bunch of little like a Dude, I told you hexagons that or whatever. You know, we, know, we, we, we know idea. that they have Composite a bunch eye. of different... Yeah, we don't know what the exact experience was. I, I told you the whole s story. Joe, that they've when got I, computers hooked up to the damn bugs. They've got everything. Computers what? are hooked up to the bugs? <laughs> the difference is, let me tell you. Yeah, they've got rope. Uh, 35 years ago, they had remote control rats with microchips. They could send 500 yards into a mm. bombed out building to, with a camera on their top. They, 30 they did years that ago, shit to dolphins too, right? They yes. Trap they've got missiles roaches on dolphins heads. in mainline Scientific American roaches with a chip on their head that run around. The difference is, the, where, the reason it's dangerous is that once you open that gate, it's all bad. They why have, is it all bad? Why why can't you experience that interdimensional being and learn something from it and be a better person because, when you come out of it? Because for whatever reason, at first it's all beautiful, and soon you're in Aztec base, catnipping all the local tribes and, and killing whoever's the tallest or the smartest. Every time it gets control, it starts murdering everybody. And it always starts beautiful. It always starts great. So you're talking about ancient civilizations where they ritualize psychedelic drugs and they wind up killing everybody? Like in every case. In every case, the priest say, we have to throw babies into fires. We have to cut their hearts out. Hmm. We have to bite their genitals. True or false, supposedly the mushrooms were used by the Aztecs so that they wouldn't resist They'd get them all high on mushrooms. It was so beyond that. that. They, they had a cocktail. Their heart out. They had a cocktail. Like, they don't resist. Of Is this dozens true? of hallucinogens and toxins that would give them an enema. True or false, though? They didn't uh, use mushrooms no, just to did. keep them sedated. I'm well, sorry. Well, it, 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 it makes sense. If you get, they killed. They, they pulled this up. I think the temple. I, I, I forget how you say it. Teotihuacan. Teotihuacan. But in mm. this one temple, I think they killed some insane amount of people after it was constructed. As, after the tens construction, of thousands. tens of thousands. They sacrificed tens of thousands of people. That the ones that were actually working to build the temple. Once they but died, they you, killed everybody. I've been down Just there the with stench. like real, real university heads who I I want to hear from them. These are the Mayans, and they said, "Yeah, no, we're opening an interdimensional gate. The gods want blood," and they didn't take it internally to the mouth, they would take enemas of dozens of hallucinogens and alcohol. And so the priest would take a couple of drugs, and then the priest wanted to communicate with the aliens, and the aliens wanted blood. And they also so took... So it was more like, we're chopping hearts out, yes sir, okay, we did a thousand, okay, the gate's open, gate's here, open. Here it goes, Jamie says, it says they, between, wow, between 10,000 and 80... 80,400 persons were sacrificed in the ceremony in 1487 when the Aztecs uh, completed the temple. And how do you say the temple name? Pull up the, the, the top of the... No, you're, you're right. Is it? You're, how do you say memory's it? Memory's good. It's, uh, it's all over. Sorry. How do you say the temple name? It didn't say it right there. Oh, it didn't say it? That's Mexico I think it's City. Tio Acan. I don't Mexico know, City. I, I think I'm saying Mexico it wrong. Mexico City is where they think they killed about 5 million people. This is, this is one day. Fucking insane. They killed 80,000 people in a couple of days. That's bananas, man. And by the way, you go down there, 
and you're walking around in the woods, and the Mayan guy goes, the bones. And they pick up, and you're like, it's not gravel. It's petrified bones are everywhere. Oh, my God. But let me go further. The priesthood were meat sellers. This happened in Europe as well. They would hang people up, and the, the, the stores, the market is below the temples. And so you would eat the meat, and the most valuable meat was warriors. Like when you won the ball throwing game that went on for days, they would kill you. They killed you. The ones who won were murdered. This is the thing they used to think that they sacrificed the losing team. Now they realize they sacrificed the winning team. I had a bit about it for a while where I was like, that must have been the longest fucking game ever. Dude's just <laughs> dropping the ball, <laughs> fucking up. No, no, the but shots. they were all fighting because they wanted to fight. They funny. believed they were they food for the gods. Die. Yeah, they wanted to Because they told them, they said, Quetzalcoatl, the flying serpent. Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl, yeah. yeah. Is gonna, you're going to interface and upload to its brain. But, and you look at their paintings, it's all like spaceships and dials, and they have perfect in the Spanish Museum for 200 years, proving it's not a hoax, because there's, there's, there's drawings of it in 200-year-old Spanish uh, 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 textbooks, but you can go see it. A, 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 it's about a, like a half foot long. It looks like a jumbo jet with the windows and the engines. True or false? Mm. The Mayans smoked penis blood. <laughs> they did. They did. See? What? Well, what, they, what they did was you thought I made that shit the up. I did. I thought you were just being silly. The high no, no, that's didn't true. Themselves, and that's, but they took they took long lines of leather, jaguar leather, and it had it had it had uh, nails on it, and, and, and or it had like uh, uh, spiky things, a uh, glass, and they would put it in their genitals. Mm. But oh. only the most skilled Jesus priest, Christ. Mm. the high priest, oh. while they were sacrificing people for hours, taking hallucinogens. <laughs> Would would like not try to cut his testicles off, but only the most skilled would sit there and draw them through their. And testicles. they would smoke the blood, oh. so that they could see. So the that they could priest, talk to their ancestors. The lower priest, seriously, the lower priest it. would then put to talk it, to their ancestors. They would put it on sacred leaves, and then they would smoke the genital blood. Yep. of the high priest, and then. <laughs> They would talk to their their oh ancestors. I believe it. It's just fuck. People are so goofy. Look, if you see those African ladies with the giant plates in their lips, if you believe that no, people the people are the next, yeah. How about that? They stretch their necks out to the point where if they take those things they off, die. their head will fall off. People are willing to do all kinds of crazy things to their body. I, I'm not surprised they they smoke Joe, this blood.